Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add and change your backdrops using code. So one of the first things that we want to do is first add in another backdrop. So to do that, we have several tools over here on the left. I'm going to click on this one to pick from the Scratch library. And when I click on it, it brings up a bunch of stuff. And I can actually filter through it, just like I did with adding the sprite. Um, I'm going to do one for the snare drum. So I'm going to make a backdrop on a stage. So I'm going to go with this one. So I click on it, and then I simply hit OK, just like with the sprite. And now I have a backdrop. Awesome. Now, when I go back to my scripts, uh-oh, my code's gone. Actually, it's not. So this is the code for the stage, and we're not going to do anything with that right now. What I want to do instead is go back to the code for my snare drum. Aha! And make it so that we can switch to this backdrop when we're talking. And then switch back to the blank one. So we can actually use some code blocks for that, some looks blocks, and I already have it up. So the one that we're looking for is a switch backdrop. And so I'm going to move that out. What I want to do is when I click to it, I want it to switch to the backdrop that is Spotlight Stage. That's the one that it's on right now. That's great. So when I click on the snare drum, it did that. But I also want it to switch back to the blank one at the very end. So I'm going to add in another switch backdrop. I'll put it after it's done talking. And I want it to switch to the blank one, which was actually just called backdrop one. So in our code, when I click on the snare drum, it'll switch to the stage, say this, and then switch to the blank one. So let's try it out. It's on the stage, says it, and it went back to the blank one. Let's test it one more time just to make sure that it worked. Hey, doing good. So what I want you to do for each one of your sprites is you're gonna add in a backdrop that matches the sprite, and then you're gonna add in code that makes it so that we show the backdrop, it says something and then maybe does something, maybe it moves around. And then when it's done doing all the code, it'll go back to, back to backdrop one, the blank one, or a different one. 